Am I bleeding? Um, I'm, bleeding. I'm, I'm so bleeding. sorry. Please, Tom, let me help you. I didn't I have it. I taste pennies. Wall Street, huh? So you must have access to a lot of drugs. Actually, I don't have any access to drugs on Wall Street. Here at Serendipity, nursing a hot chocolate, but I got this little gaggle of 10-year-olds glaring at me for the table. Yeah, you're not going to like this, but I actually got pulled into kind of an important work thing. Oh, OK. What, like a delivery or something? Hmm. 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 You know, we don't have a lot in common culturally. I, I'm, I'm sorry, are you saying that I'm not cultured? I'm deeply cultured. I've been to London. I, I saw Mamma Mia on the West End before it transferred to Broadway, where I saw it again. Not bad, huh? I... Oh, no. I know about all the interesting things you like. I just don't know what you're like. Okay, wait a minute. Are, are you trying to say that I don't have a personality? Be because I have a personality. And, it, and it's like really good. I know. I followed BuzzFeed's 10 Simple Steps to Having a Good Personality. Look. Hey, that was such an interesting exchange of ideas. You know what we should do? We should get high. You know what, Graham? I think that's going to have to be good night. My body is very attracted to your body, but when you speak, my brain gets angry. Hey, uh, party people, can I just uh, have your attention for a second? I just wanted to say that the day I met Mindy, I didn't realize I met my future wife. What? Are you, what? No, 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 no. Oh no, my no, God. No, 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 no. Please don't, no, please. Stop. Don't, 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 you don't need to stop. I beg okay. you. Okay, all right, stop. all right, all right. I'm not gonna, what's that? Whoa! Gotcha. Look, here's the deal. I just had a little rap sesh with the notorious G.O.D. You know what G said? That's your girl, dude. And I said, thank you. Oh my God. This is like West Side Story. You are Bernardo. I'm Anita. You're like, I hate this country. The women are loose and the gringos are mean to us. And I'm like, I love this country. Let's turn up the AC and let's dance. <laughs> so, where are we going for dinner? Because I know what I'm having for dessert. <sighs> that was a very sexy offer, but I cannot. For one, you were extremely mean to me in a public setting. Cheers. And also, I have a boyfriend. Hey, 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 what the hell are you doing? Stop being insane and accept his offer. You're pushing 40. I'm 12. I'm 12. I'm 12. Well, if you change your mind, I put my number in your phone. Thank you. It's a British number, so it'll cost you $15 per text. But trust me, I'm worth it. Oh, my God. Wow. I think he was kind of into me. Yeah, I agree. He must be back on the opiates. How could you not know I was a prostitute? Out! Get out! You came to the bar alone. You paid for every drink. You kept talking about how money is no object. Sorry, I get tacky when I get drunk, all right? And by the way, you are not supposed to kiss. That is like the number one rule in Pretty Woman. Ooh, get out. Kissing is a big part of what I do. I'm actually one of the best mouth guys in the city. Gross, get out, get out. I'm never going out again. What the hell is wrong with you? Do you want to get yourself killed? Where do you get off, sir? Coming into my office and yelling at me about your outdated view on birth control. Who do you think you are, Rick Santorum? Obviously not, because you're not hot. The ball's on you. Do you even have kids? How dare you? Do I look like a woman who's had kids? I'm the hips of an 11-year-old boy. No, you look like a kindergarten teacher with steak in her teeth. That's because I wolfed down a steak sandwich at lunch. And this outfit? Well... Even I had a couple of misgivings when I wore it in the morning, but it's colorful. And not that it makes a difference to you, but I'm only looking out for Jenny, okay? I don't want her to become another pregnant teen. And not that it's any of your business, but I am not a sex-crazed lunatic. I happen to be taking a break from men. I found that it was kind of distracting me at a time yeah, when I yeah, needed Yeah, yeah, good for you. You just lost yourself a patient and gained a ticket. Public female hysteria? They never took it off the books. How did you know I was here? I used the phone tracker app. We have the same password, remember? You share a password? Damn right we do. It's our dead dog's name. You co-owned a dog, Josh? Come on. Now wait. The kidney dog? She knows about Princess Buttercup. Princess Buttercup is the name of your dog, Josh? Come on. Great. Right. Now I have to change my password. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you have a key necklace? Okay. She has a key necklace, everyone. No Except hers is encrusted in diamonds and mine just features diamonds. No, Danny, did you see that? I just wanted to tell you that I, I saw Tides of Tomorrow. And I was very disappointed not to see little Leo in it. You watched it? Well, I watched it on my home computer. 
I must say it was very difficult to navigate the network website. I had to register, I saw the same Lipitor commercial three times, yeah. and then to top it off, I see they've cast some kid without an ounce of Leo's star power. I know, right? Thank you for saying that. Well, it's nothing but the truth. These Hollywood phonies don't know anything about acting. I think little Leo should stick with it. He's, he's a special boy, and uh, I think he might... Mm. A mo, a mas, a mat, a mamus, a matis, a mant. See how they. Mindy? Oh, God. Sally! Jamie, Sally means hello in Latin. I looked that up online. What are you doing here? I'm with students right now. I know that, but on your website, it says that office hours are open to anyone. Why are you dressed like Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones? I think you mean Mindiana Jones. <laughs> Yeah, so that's when I decided that I wanted to be an architect. Mmm, milk. What's wrong? Mmm, nothing, it just it doesn't really taste like key lime pie. It, don't worry about it. No, I am gonna worry about it. Let's go fix this. This was bad too? Uh... Hey, first of all, I never thanked you properly for the sex. It'll get me through many a sandy cold night. Look, I'm sorry we didn't get to say goodbye for real, but actually it's probably better because I feel like you might have started crying and that would have made me cry and no one wants to see a guy in the army cry because it's just, it's bad for our nation, honestly. After I searched my bag for narcotics, I watched your surgery. It was so cool. I could tell you were doing exactly what you always wanted. It's the exact look I get when I bring clean drinking water to a village because people shockingly love clean drinking water. So, I hope you can understand, you know, why I have to go back. I know we only spent a day together, but as Meg Ryan said, and you've got mail, all this nothing has meant more to me than so many somethings. In closing, I would just like to ask you never to reveal to anyone that I A, watched You've Got Mail, or B, remember it to the point that I can quote it in a letter. I would really appreciate that. And hey, maybe I'll see you next summer. Your friend, Sam. I'm really thankful that you invited me up to listen to your awesome jazz CDs. Yeah. And it got me thinking that maybe we should make a little jazz of our own. Huh? Ooh, ba, boo, bee, ba, well, bee, ba, boo. what's the uh, rush, you know? We have all night. Oh, I never finished telling you about my cousin's trip to Hartford. And I know this is a little bit of a long shot. I don't know who this guy is you're dating. He's probably the stockbroker, a race car driver, something really cool. Thing no, like it's that. you. I lied and said it was you because I'm crazy. What? He's a stockbroker. Okay, well, anyway, the point is, I don't, I don't want you to be with him because I want you to be with me. I want me to be with you, too. Are you serious? I knew you were a little bit crazy. Wait, wait, I'm not crazy. Yeah, you're kind of crazy. You were talking to a pigeon when I came out here. I want to get married to you. And I know this is really crazy and impulsive, but hey dude, that's kind of what you signed up for. So, then with this super rare, unbelievably expensive comic book, I wanted to know, will you marry me? Hey, I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. And as payment, one tonic water. Thanks. I will be right back. Hey. Hey, Danny, all these waters look the same. I, I just don't. I... 